Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to embed a YouTube video on just about any kind of a text box in Moodle. We've enabled an automatic um, YouTube embed filter on our Moodle site. And also, I've enabled a new feature in Moodle where if you just enter a URL, if you just copy and paste a URL, you don't even have to create the hyperlink to that, Moodle will automatically recognize it as long as it has the HTTP colon slash slash in front of it. It will automatically recognize it and create a hyperlink. However, when you embed your YouTube video, you do need to select your URL and also hyperlink that. Let me show you how to do it. And I'm just going to take an example. Here's Richard's YouTube video that's been embedded. Let me go ahead and click edit so I can show you what it looks like. So here's the URL to his video and I selected or he selected this and clicked the hyperlink insert insert hyperlink icon and then go ahead and paste that hyperlink in there click insert and then click save changes. You'll want to double check and make sure that your video shows up. If your video does not show up, it means probably you're using the incorrect URL. So let me show you how to locate the correct URL. Let's just go ahead and go to Richard's video on YouTube. And here it is. And if you click the share button, you will get, by default, I believe you first you get this short link. What you're going to want is select the long link. It's also up here, except it's everything up to the and, the ampersand. So this is, this is your long link. That's the link that you want to use when you are embedding the YouTube video on a discussion forum. So again, you can just use your keyboard shortcut for copy, which is Command C, Apple Command C, or if you're a Windows user, Control C. And then of course the paste is Apple Command V or Control V, like Victor or paste. Those are really great short, you should know a lot of keyboard shortcuts by the way. And then just simply go ahead and paste it on your forum post, select it, and click the hyperlink icon to hyperlink it, save it, and you should be able to see your video embedded. Thanks for viewing.